Okay, so in this problem, we're told that guests at a pizza party are seated at three tables. There's the small table, and it has five seats and two pizzas. So I'll set that up. Here's my small table. We'll fill it in there. All right. And we'll draw the seats. We'll make this a seat one, two, three, four, five, and then the pizza here. Although, I don't want green pizza. Let me fix that. Here we go. We'll try a different color here. Right, I'm getting green because the colors are blending. All right, so we have green pizza there. So five seats and two pizzas. And then there's a medium table. All right, so let's go to it's a different size table. Here's a medium table. And we're going to fill that in. Okay, at the medium table, what do we have? Seven seats. All right, one two, three, four, five, six, seven seats, and again, we've got, well, we have three pizzas now, so we have more pizza. Let me just fix this. We have more pizza here, one, yellow pizza this time, two, three, and then we have one more table, right? On this next table, we have, sorry, 12 seats and five pizzas. So this is the large table here, biggest table of all and fill that in and I'll try this time to actually make pizza that looks a little bit more like pizza maybe like a redder sauce okay fix this so again large table 12 seats and 5 pizzas 1 2 3 4 5 pizzas and seats 12 seats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12. Okay, the question is, um, assuming that the pizzas are shared um, equally at each table, so you can't, I mean, if you're sitting here at this table, um, these three people, in reality, probably would share this one pizza, while these two would have more of an opportunity to get from this pizza, but we're assuming that everyone at each table is sharing all of the pies at their table equally, and we're also assuming that even though I drew the pizzas in different colors and they're different sizes when I drew them, that they are the same size. At which table does a guest get the most pizza? So, just to visualize it, I, I drew these pictures, of course, but um, we don't really need that. What we really need are ratios, and that's kind of the heart of this problem, that on the small table, Right? What's happening is that there's a ratio of pies, two pies, to the number of seats. And we're assuming the seats are filled by people. So it's a two to five ratio. At the medium table, what's the ratio? Well, it's pizza, right? Our ratio is pizza to people or seats. And at the medium table, we have three pizzas for seven people. At the large table, we have five pizzas for 12 people. So we have this idea, right, where we can compare the ratio of pizza to people, and what, what's the best? Well, the, the, the highest ratio of pizza to people, right, will be the best table to sit at here. And that's, that's one of the key ideas. So let me just clear this board off, right? And we're looking, again, for the highest ratio of pizza to people. And I'll just, let me just fix this layer here. So we have at the small table, again, two pizzas for five seats. So it's two to five at the small table. Let's move that down. Small table, two to five. Medium table, what's that again? Well, again, the medium table is just three pizzas for seven people. And at the large table, right, it's five pizzas for 12 people. So I'm going to keep scaling these ratios up until I have the same number of pizzas or people. And what am I going to pick? Well, I'm going to use the same number of pizzas because, right, the number of people at each, at each table, those are bigger numbers. So by looking at the number of pizzas, 2, 3, and 5, I'll work with smaller ratios. So let's pretend we have two small tables. That means we'll have, what, four pizzas and 10 people. And if I have two medium tables, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to have six pizzas and 14 people. And if I have a large table, two of those, I have 10, right? And 24 
people, right? 10 pizzas and 24 people to share it. And, um, you know, I, I want to find, of course, when will the, the, the large, medium, and small tables have the same number of pizzas and different number of people? So I'm going to add another group of another large table. That'll give me 15 pizzas for 36 people. And another group, right? We have 20 pizzas for what? Well, 48 people. And notice there's, there's a growing gap between, even though it's proportional, here we have so many people to feed with 20 pizzas. You can see that really a lot of people are sharing a small amount of pizzas. It becomes, I think, more and more obvious that this is happening. So we're just going to keep going with this idea. 25 people will share how many pizzas? Well, well 25 pizzas will be shared amongst, excuse me, 60 people. And then 30 pizzas will be shared amongst 72 people. At the medium table, am I going to do the same process scaling over and over again? Yes, but I'm going to make a jump. right? I'm going to say I know that if I have three pizzas for seven people, here with 30 pizzas, I can just multiply this by 10. right? So I can scale it up. Here I would have 30 pizzas. And how many people? Well, 70 people, right? Because this time I'm taking it would take 10 medium tables to equal six. This would be six large tables, right? So it's 30 pizzas for 70 people. And for the small tables, how many small tables will it take? Well, each small table has two pizzas. And here I'm trying to compare it with 30 pizzas. So I multiply this by 15, right? It would take 15 small tables. Because then I would have 30 pizza pies, right? And how many people? Well, what's 15 times 5? Well, that's 75, right? So here, I would have 30 pizzas amongst 75 people. So where would you want to sit um, here? At which groups of tables would, would the people get the most pizza? Well, I think you might see that the answer is the medium table. And you might be thinking, oh, well, at the, the small table, it's 75 or 30. Yeah, but again, think about what the ratio represents. This is saying you have 30 pizza pies, and you're only splitting them amongst 70 people. Well, if you have 30 pizza pies here, and you have more people to feed with those pies, then those people will get less pizza, even if the difference is only a small amount. And at the large table, right, this is the second place table, you have 30 pizzas and 72 people to feed. Not as much at the small table, but um, certainly more than the medium table. So the medium table has the least number of people to feed, right, with 30 pies. So that's where you would sit to get the most pizza. All right, hope, this in hope you enjoyed this.